Hello everyone and welcome to Zelle. One of the new features of Zelle Core Plus is the ability to import an existing wallet address into Zelle Core. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now by exporting my private keys from something like Exodus Wallet so that we can use that same address in Zelle Core. Let's get started. First things first, we need to log into our Zelle Core account and go ahead and put in your two-factor authentication. Now that we're signed in, we'll have to set up our Zelle Core Plus account. If you haven't gotten a Zelle Core Plus account yet, it's real easy to do. Just click on the Apps button here and then click on Zelle Core Plus. And in here, we have three different plans available. There's a one-year plan, a three-month plan, and a one-month plan. The best part about this is that if you only sign up for one month, you still keep the addresses that are assigned. So with this package comes three additional premium addresses so that'll bring your total wallet addresses to six for each asset. And you can use those for exchanges or whatever you'd like. And then you also have the ability to import a wallet address from another wallet, which is great because it'll give you some additional features that you might not have available in that other wallet. All right, so now you may be asking, why would I do this? And I'll give you an example by way of analogy. Let's imagine you just got a new email address. Now think about all of the different subscriptions and logins and things that you'd have to update because you changed your email. Everything from Spotify, Hulu, Netflix, to all of your social media logins, maybe your bank, some of the credit cards, any of your crypto logins, and it would become very cumbersome very quickly to try and update your email, right? You'd have to send verification. A lot of times they'll send a, an email to your old email address, and then you have to verify that, and then they'll send an email to the new one, and then you have to verify that as well. And the amount of time that you would spend trying to update all of your accounts to the right email address plus your inbox is going to be full of garbage, right? So there's a similar situation that happens with crypto. And I think especially with Bitcoin, because uh, if you've been in the crypto space for any length of time, chances are you've been using your Bitcoin address. And a lot of times there's a single address that many people will use that they might put as a subscription address, like I'll use this address for my subscription services, or maybe you've already linked a Bitcoin address to certain exchanges. That's your go-to exchange address. Maybe you're, um, if you're a content creator, maybe you've used that one Bitcoin address as your donation address or something like that. So how do you get from an old wallet to the new Zelle experience in a nice, easy, seamless way. Well, Zelle Core Plus has provided that, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. This is an Exodus wallet, and there's a lot of different wallets out there, but this is a pretty popular one, and it's one that has active development, so I am not in any way dogging Exodus, but at the same time, if you wanted to migrate over to Zelle Core, then this would be the way you would go about it, at least from Exodus. I am not going to be able to go into detail about how to do it for every different Bitcoin wallet, but the principles are basically the same. And in Exodus, what you would do is push Control Shift D, and that exposes this developer window right here. So we can click on developer, and then we'll go to assets and choose the asset we want to export. In our case, it's Bitcoin here. And then I'm going to go over here to private keys. Now, this is a little warning that most wallets will give you saying that you should never expose your private keys to anyone. Don't allow anybody to see these. Never store them on your computer, most especially the computer that you have all your wallets on. And always just use best practices when it comes to securing your private keys. Whoever has access to the private key has access to the crypto that's stored on that address. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click on yes, I'm sure. And it's going to ask you to enter your password. And what this does is shows you your address and your private key. So obviously the top address right here is the main address for this particular wallet. That's the one that I want to export. So what I'm going to do is double click my private key 
and use control C to copy it. Or you can go up here to where it says edit and do edit, copy, and that will go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. Once you've copied your private key, then you can close this window. Over on Zellcore, we're gonna go ahead and click on this little plus sign for my assets, and then click on import wallet. Then scroll down to Bitcoin. And from here, we can go ahead and label this wallet. We can say, maybe we can even say Exodus, because that's the wallet that it came from. And then we'll go ahead and paste our private key right here. So you can use control V to put that address right there, then click on import. And if we go down here to the Bitcoin wallet, we'll see all of our previous transactions already listing right here. This has given Zelcor full control over our Bitcoin wallet address from Exodus. So if I wanted to retire from using Exodus and migrate over here to Zelcor, that's all I need to do. Anytime I wanna see what's going on with this particular wallet address, I just click the pull down menu, go to Exodus, and there it is. Best part, I don't have to update anything in terms of my subscription services. I don't have to change my Bitcoin address with anything else. I have full control over this right here within Zellcor, and it's fully secured by my username, password, and Zell ID. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think about this new feature in the comment section below. Will you be using Zellcor as your daily driver? Will you be importing your wallet addresses over so that you can take advantage of all the great features that have been built into this new platform? Let me know. And be sure to like and subscribe and share this video so that we get more exposure. We can't do it without you, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.